see the caution in front of you. I know it's kind of pixelated. But uh, first of all, my tone will remain docile, so if there are children near you or grandparents or others who don't like the strong language, they're safe to hear this and I hope you'll share it with them. On this caution, you'll see that down here, one of the things, and it's pixelated, you can't read it, I'm sure, but I assure you it says forced vaccinations. This has to be a wake-up call. The information I'm about to show you is uh, kind of extensive and, and hopefully, but not all of it, hopefully you'll continue your research if you question anything I'm putting in front of you. People are being killed. It, it's it, it mass genocide of the population. We, we know the conspiracy theories and, and if anybody in the comments should use that uh, stereotype towards me or anyone else that shares any truthful information you'll just be your net existence will be in question from that moment on I was uh, thankful for the person that shared this on Facebook Australia determined to forcibly vaccinate by intentional and controlled release of aerosol GMO vaccine now, I know that's enough right there to horrify many of you who are awake already some of you that aren't or are already convinced this, that this is good for you and I hope that by the end of this video I'll change that. Okay, um, first, Office of Gene Technology Regulator. I, I don't believe anybody has the authority to regulate anything to do with the human gene other than God the Creator uh, as you know it their self, itself, himself, herself, whatever self. Not, not somebody that, um, no, no, okay. So, all these links will be below, by the way. Here, here's their, hopefully you'll contact them or, or take down their servers or <laughs> whatever you can do to stop this madness. Okay, um, Paxvax, this must be their bed partners, assumably. I don't have a link to prove that yet. Okay, let's get rid of this just to save the CPU. Better vaccines to better the world. Ugh. I'm disgusted. Okay, so there's their site. You can go check them out. I haven't dug through this yet. I probably won't, because I already know they're trying to kill us. I'm, I'm just hoping that you'll have time to Use whatever skills you have to figure out whatever you figure out. That's all. Okay, let's get back to this. Uh, according to the regulator, it qualifies as a limited and controlled release under Section 50A of Gene Technology Act. Did I read this? No. Again, refer back to my first statement that I don't think anybody has the right to control genes it's not it's fucking evil at the core I, I shouldn't have to explain this and I'm sorry for that slip of the language because I just anyway um, little guys please I, I get you know if you're listening and I apologize don't use that language but get angry get angry about it get angry about it um, because this is your lives okay now what are they spraying you saw that chlorella what is chlorella chlorella now, before we get to what chlorella is, let's let's give you a little, for instance, okay? Back uh, quite some time ago. Now, let's go down here for a minute. I'm sorry I'm all over the place because this is, uh, you'll see the other things that have been done to convince you that this is fine. West Nile virus, although that's still at uh, what they claim to be close to pandemic levels. Um, hasn't helped at all. Probably, probably was the instigator. Uh, somewhere in here they mention the packet dropping for the rabies uh, 
Yeah, here, aerial vaccines have been used in the United States directed towards animals by the use of plastic packets dropped by planes or helicopters. They did that. Texas, New Mexico, all over the place, right? Okay, and then the following year, I had as a guest John Clem here from YouTube. This is his video right here. Okay. Come over and listen to this 15-minute section here. Um, and there should be, uh, I think, uh, probably, yeah, right here, uh, there's a link to the audio, um, to the full interview. That's the one you want. That is the one where, where we explain, and John, thank, not we, John explains, that rabies has not only uh, more than doubled in many areas, the virus itself has mutated and now it transfers from the mother to the young which it never did in the history of rabies it didn't do that um and now it does and that was less than a year after this packet drop okay and, and so let me remind you that many times we we hear and we think and we know that vaccines cause the disease they're uh, supposed to prevent heard it hundreds and thousands of times hopefully if you've heard it for the first time again a little google search and you'll find what i'm talking about so assuming that this applies every time somebody creates a vaccine and that the virus will actually spread now let's take a look at the vaccine they're going to spread chlorella or caller yeah i i butchered it whatever here's the link okay <laughs> again it'll be below uh transmission occurs primarily by drinking water or eating food that has been contaminated by the feces waste product of the infected person okay there goes your food and water supply australia Oh, 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 wait, now everybody went back to sleep that's in the United States or anywhere else in the world, right? You better wake up real soon. Real soon. Like within a couple more paragraphs. Let's go back to the original post. Okay, so they've convinced you that all these things have been done, and since you didn't hear any negative about it, everything is fine, and this is great, and... Oh... In the quarterly FunVax review in June 2007, the report lists the objective of a project listed as ID149AZ2 as a preparation of a viral vector that will inhibit, decrease the expression of a specific disruption gene, uh, VMAT2, within a human population. Now, I don't care. You're not going to present me with any science that says this is okay. And you're probably not going to give me any news clippings that even told you about this. It's been going on a lot longer than you thought. But now today, this is going on. They they are spraying you. For, for you that, oh, they're not spraying us. They, they're spraying the West Nile virus, and that, again, that hasn't gone away. It hasn't diminished. In fact, in Florida, the machine has created GMO mosquitoes that will carry it more efficiently. Google that up as well. With this level of vileness and evil, how, how much longer? How, how much more? Will you accept? Look over at your children and grandchildren right now. Look at them. They're looking and say, is this true? And you know you can't lie to them because children know the truth more than we do, don't they? Again, I hope you shared this video with your kids. Much love. Many thanks. And, uh... <laughs> You know, if you don't do something about this, I, I may not see you soon. <laughs> anyway, uh, do something about it, please.
gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers. 